What is up YouTube? It's Ruben and this is my first video. Before we get started with what we're going to be talking about today, I just wanted to let you guys know that on this channel, you guys can expect to see a lot of tutorials on customs, restorations, and a lot of how-tos. Now the difference between mine and anybody others is pretty much I'm going to be showing you guys how to do things a more conventional way easier way and more time efficient way. So what we're gonna be talking about today is how to set up your own ice box using a deep freezer. I just wanna give a quick shout out to Chris Custom Kicks for the idea. A few months ago, I was using a cube grow tent. It was a small one, so it only allowed for about one to two pairs to be iced in at once. So I knew that the concept of using a deep freezer was one that I wanted to jump on as soon as possible because this allows me to ice about six to eight pairs all at once cumulatively. Now for most of you that are looking into grow tents, I honestly recommend you guys looking into the larger, taller ones. It'll allow you for you guys to be able to ice more than one pair at once as well. I have two lamps in here and two fans, the fans are gonna be able to circulate the air to prevent anything getting too hot and also just have more of a controlled environment in there. So without any further ado, I know you guys do not wanna hear me talking anymore. So let's go ahead and get into this video. The most important thing is to make sure you're well protected using gloves, especially when dealing with cleaning solvents such as bleach, 409 multi-surface cleaner, pine saw, or every Hispanic's personal favorite, Fabuloso, and a dollar store broom to scrub out all the mold. So we're all done with the cleanup, we're all done with the setup. As I said before, you guys will be able to see two lamps, two fans, and aluminum foil set up all along the walls of this deep freezer. I honestly recommend you guys looking into getting Mylar. Mylar you guys can find it at your local Walmart in the fireproof blankets. My local Walmart did not have any left. So for the purpose of this video, I did use aluminum foil. Mylar reflects that much more light, so it's just more reflective. Hence, it can possibly shorten the sessions that you guys are using for your icing. Again, I do appreciate you guys sticking around watching this video. I do ask and encourage you guys to subscribe to this YouTube channel and also like my Facebook and Instagram page. It is Picasso underscore kicks, P-I-C-A-S-S-O underscore kicks. Please stay tuned to these next few videos. The next video is going to be a how to ice. Now that we have the indoor setup already done and completed, now I can go ahead and teach you guys on how to ice. So again, stay tuned on this next video and I appreciate you guys sticking around.
Rock